Vostok 5 was launched on June 14, 1963 at 11.58 a.m. UTC from Gagarin's start at Baikonur Cosmodrome. It carried Valery Bukovsky on a 4-day and 23-hour mission, which would include a rendezvous with Vostok 6, which launched two days later on June 16th at 9.29 a.m. from the same launch site. This was essentially the same primary goal of Vostok 3 and 4, but this time the accuracy was to within 5 kilometers at the closest approach between the two craft, instead of 6.5 kilometers, and more significantly, Vostok 6 carried Valentina Tereshkova, the first woman in space and the only woman to ever orbit solo. She was also the first civilian in space, having been chosen because she was an expert in skydiving, and that was required since the Vostok did not carry sufficient parachutes for a soft landing, and cosmonauts all had to bail out to reach the ground safely. As part of the cosmonaut corps though, she was technically an honorary member of the Soviet Air Force. Bikovsky in Vostok 5 was originally slated to spend 8 days in orbit, but solar flares, which could cause unpredictable effects, cut the mission short. It is still the record for the longest solo mission in orbit. He generally had a pleasant time, although he and Tereshkova both complained about their helmets and the layout of instruments. He also had a particular problem with his waste collection device, which didn't close properly, so he had a very unpleasant smell to deal with. After Tereshkova launched, they established contact for a while and Mikovsky said that Tereshkova sang to him, but visual contact was not established. Their orbital periods were different by about 10 seconds, but that was enough for them to gradually drift out of communication range of each other by the second day. Early into her flight, Tereshkova had to do a simulated deorbiting maneuver and found that the automatic system for orienting the craft kept drifting in a way that would keep her from coming back safely. She had to manually enter new data in to control descent. Sergei Korolev, the Soviet chief designer, asked her to keep the issue secret, and she did until statements in 2004. Tereshkova deorbited first on June 19th, landing at 8.20 a.m. UTC. Bikovsky landed two orbits later at 11.06 a.m. UTC. All in all, Tereshkova's flight was typical. She did have some aches and also vomited once because the food didn't agree with her, but was otherwise televised live from the capsule in good spirits, and also spoke with Soviet Premier Khrushchev while in space in a way that couldn't have hurt her political prospects since she quickly attained political positions and became a member of the Supreme Soviet in 1966, only three years after her flight. Accounts written through the 1970s and onward were disparaging of her flight, however, and it took 19 years for the Soviet Union to send the second woman, Svetlana Savitskaya, to space. Shortly after Savitskaya, Sally Ride became the first American woman in space. While the Americans were late bloomers in this regard, the United States has since sent more than 40 women to space, while only four Soviet or Russian women have had the honor. Valentina Tereshkova and Valery Bikovsky are both alive as of the making of this video, making them the last surviving astronauts or cosmonauts from this first phase of human spaceflight, all others launched in the Mercury and Vostok programs having passed away. Bikovsky continued to be part of the space program for Soyuz 22 and Soyuz 31, but while Tereshkova turned to a life of politics, she said that she was willing to go on a one-way trip to Mars in 2013, 50 years after Vostok 6, showing that her pioneering spirit is still intact. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Vostok 5 and Vostok 6.